Hello again, I'm Daniel Feynman with Build It Backwards, and I'm here today with Barry Pogorel talking about our new book, The Book on Business from A to Z, The 216 Most Important Answers You Need to Know. Now, Barry, we were talking about leadership earlier, and could you give us a little more information as to how leaders should deal with problems? I think, um, uh, as human beings, I don't think we're very effective with problems. I don't think that we really use the tremendous opportunity that a problem offers us. Um, why do I say that? Because uh, a problem is an opportunity to develop yourself in dealing with it. It's an opportunity to learn something. And, and, um, and also, it's an opportunity to get really creative uh, and to come up with uh, ideas, possibilities that you wouldn't have considered had that problem not arisen. So I think that there are really three or four critical steps to dealing with the problem and dealing with it powerfully. One is to know, acknowledge, be honest about the fact that you're going to have some kind of emotional, psychological problem. The bigger the problem, the bigger the reaction. You know, it's going to all boil down to something like there's something wrong with me or you or this company or the world. And I think it's important to acknowledge that and not kid yourself about it and put that aside. Um, and then the next critical question to ask is, what happened? Not what do I think happened, not what do other people think happened, not, not what are the opinions or judgments or stories or interpretations people have of what happened, but what actually happened that we're calling this problem. And once you get clear about what happened, you're dealing with reality. And then you can ask questions like, well, what are the options? What might we do in dealing with this? An occasion to be creative. And then, of course, the next question is, well, what's next, given those options and taking action? Um, and one other thing to say about problems are, people sort of wish problems didn't happen. But that's not a very realistic relationship with problems, because problems do happen. And the bigger the vision, the bigger the objective you're working on, the more problems you're going to have. So it would be very effective and very powerful to develop a new kind of relationship with problems, like welcoming them. I mean, if you didn't have that vision or that big objective, you wouldn't have the problem in the first place. So, in a way, you could say nature or the universe is giving you that problem to resolve so you can realize that objective. And I think the last thing to say about it is a problem gives you an opportunity to reaffirm your commitment, to recommit to something. Barry, that's great. Thank you. For more information on Barry's chapter on leadership, as well as 25 other very critical and timely topics, why not pick up a copy of The Book on Business from A to Z, the 260 most important answers you need to know at Amazon, Apple's iTunes, or a bookstore near you.